Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SHLDQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past two days, both Thursday and Friday, broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And the pullback has continued. However, everything is still perfectly fine. Now I get it that that statement can be deceiving and there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're some sort of day trader flipper and you bought there, or you bought right there and you wanted to sell within you know 10 minutes after buying, well then yeah, from, from that point of view, you know, the chart's not looking too good for you. But I'm making these statements based more so on people that care about the broad scope of things, you know, the big picture of the chart. So sure, yes, the price has certainly pulled back. But from the grand scheme of it all, the price still has plenty of opportunity to build a higher low. And as long as higher lows are being built over time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. And that's gonna be the main viewpoint that I talk about here. So what I'm actually gonna do is just get rid of this green line here and I'll use that a little bit later and we'll come back to that in a bit. But the, the main reason why, you know, the, the chart is still fully bullish in my opinion, and this is nothing that's revolutionary. Uh, in fact, if you have a very surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 50 period simple moving average, which on my chart here is denoted by the purple line and the price is still up above it. And like I said, even if you have a basic understanding, then you know that assuming you're bullish, of course, as long as the price is up above the, the, the 50 period moving average, then that's what you wanna see. That still implies that the trend has an opportunity uh, to remain bullish, and that's what we have right here. So certainly the ideal level of support next week is gonna be to stay up above that 50 period simple moving average. In the event that level does not hold, then the next key mark to keep an eye on gonna be down there around uh, the, what is that, about 30, 34 cents, so again, if the purple line, the 50 period doesn't hold, then 34 cents could potentially be that next pit stop for the price. However, to be fair, and to give credit where credit's due, so far so good, the price is doing a good job holding above that purple line. In the event the price does head back upwards, nothing new really there, still at 55 cents is that overarching level of resistance. And then very near term, seems to be a little miniature resistance there at 44, uh, but miniature in the sense of, I don't even think it's necessarily worth uh, mapping out with an annotation, but something to just keep a note on there. So again, assuming you do care about the big picture of it all, yeah, the price is pulled back, but the price does still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher low and therefore continue on with the uptrend. So we'll see if the price can get that job done or not next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.